Hello there and welcome to Loco for Leeds. It's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United. I'm of course George. Welcome along to the channel everyone. We're just about over that Southampton defeat, aren't we? Terrible, terrible performance. Terrible result, wasn't it? But we look forward to head towards the game at the weekend. In this video, though, I am not going to speak about this game, that game on Saturday just yet. You'll have to wait to the end of the, uh, you know, more towards the end of the week before I give my thoughts on that game. But today, it's something that I've wanted to do for a bit. It is um, our kind of loan work watch looking at the players that are out alone and how they're getting on for their various clubs around Europe we've got quite a few players uh, playing away in various different countries in different um, leagues and stuff so without further ado let's get going with it then so we'll start in the championship of course uh, and at the top of the championship there's uh, Leif Davis who's playing at Bournemouth, and Bournemouth sit currently top of that league. Um, and let's have a look at what he did in the last match days. Obviously, it's a two-game week for a lot of, or most, all of the um, league, uh, league, the EFL teams, isn't it? So, it's a two-game week. So, on Saturday, Leif Davis was an unused substitute. I think Bournemouth beat Bristol City 2-0. And then on... Um, Yesterday, Bournemouth beat Stoke City 1-0, but he was not involved in the game, so it, it, in the squad even, he wasn't even on the bench. Seems like he's been used as a bit of a rotation player so far this season. Also in the Championship, there's Ian Perveda. Perveda, I think, came off the bench on Saturday as Blackburn drew 2-2 with Coventry. And although he was not in the squad last night, I think... I think Blackburn won. I think it was 1-0. But any Blackburn fans, any fans of any of the teams our lads are at, just comment below. Get, you know, check me up on my facts if I'm not right. Um, and just give a, you know, give your thoughts on how our lad is doing in your team. Uh, but yeah, Pervader, he hasn't really performed much for, for Blackburn. Hasn't played much in the way of games at all, to be honest with you. Um with Blackburn, so yeah, he's, he's, he's one assist, I think, in the whole time he's been there, and that was on his first game. He's in and out of the team, really. He's mainly used as a substitute if he is going to be used at all. So we drop down into League One, and then we look at Simon Grayson's Fleetwood Town. Simon Grayson, of course, a legend in his own way, isn't he, at Leeds United, having brought us back up from League One to the Championship. And he's always involved, isn't he? Uh, still around Leeds occasionally, isn't he? So, yeah, you know, good manager for League One level. He's managing there now with Fleetwood Town. And he has our young striker, Ryan Edmondson, there at the moment on a season-long loan. And Edmondson, again, like the other two we've mentioned, he, he's in and out of the team uh, in the games uh, on over the weekend uh, at Fleetwood. I can't remember who he played again. Any Fleetwood fans watching, remind me who you played on the weekend. I, I know Edmondson, I think he started. Did he play 79 minutes, I think, in this one? Uh, on Tuesday, he, he started again. I think he played the whole game. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But he's been in and out of the team. He scored one goal against Barrow, against some of his former teammates, of course, in Robbie Gotts and Jordan Stevens. Uh, in an EFL Cup win, I think Fleetwood won that game 3-1. Edmondson scored in that one. It's his only goal today in a Fleetwood shirt, but again, he's in and out of the team. Also in League One, there's Mac um, they're playing for McCormont. There's Alfie, sorry, playing for Morecambe. There's Alfie McCalmont. Of course, full international Alfie McCalmont, isn't he now for Northern Ireland? And uh, and yeah, he, he's he's probably the, the most prolific of the players that we've mentioned so far. He's played eleven times for Morecambe so far in League One. They sit sort of lower mid table in that league. Um, but on Saturday, the latest round of games, he played the full ninety minutes. Uh, I think it was a Friday night game. Actually, they played Burton. Uh, they lost three two. Um, Connor Shaw Nessie, if anybody remembers him, he scored a goal. Uh, for Burton, he, play, he plays for them nowadays. Um, but 
McCalmont, Smallcombe, they lost 3-2. McCalmont has scored the one goal as well, the same as uh, Edmondson. Uh, yeah, and that came in a league game. Um, but there, he's doing all right. But like I said, probably more consistent than the others we've mentioned so far. Uh, McCalmont, for me, will probably not play for Leeds again. I think that his time is probably up in a Leeds United shirt. And with Bielsa, it seems like the younger players who go out on loan are more further away than ever to get in a, a first-team Leeds United appearance. He seems to keep the players who are in the under-23 teams, they're more likely to get, as we've seen, get first-team football in, in the Premier League. Whereas traditionally, I think it seems the other way around. The more you went out on loan, maybe the closer you'd be next season to a to a first team starting position. But it doesn't seem that way with Bielsa. But anyway, now going into Spain, we have a couple of players obviously playing at the moment on loan in Spain at La Liga level. Um, we'll start with a man that I wish was no longer with Leeds United at all, but he is. So we'll continue to keep him involved in these reports it is that man Kiko Casilla who's on loan at Elche in La Liga and he's played every single minute of their league campaign so far uh, the most recent of course coming in a 2-1 defeat on Saturday against Rayo Vallecano uh, two goals couldn't really do much about them he has of course been up to Kiko Casillas kind of um, things we know he does on the football pitch he, uh, you know, there was a goal I've seen. He's, it was Atletico Madrid they were playing and he's he's come to clear it. He's completely missed it. The lads just took a touch, nicely controlled it and put it in the top corner of an open goal as, as Casilla runs back to his goal. He's an awful player. I wish he wasn't involved with Leeds United. And hopefully he won't be next season as hopefully Elche will uh, trigger that uh, clause in the deal. I think it is an option to buy. So hopefully uh, Kiko Kassi will have played his last game in a Legion United shirt. But it seems he's very much first choice for Elche so far this season. Also in League One, there is, uh, sorry, League One, also in Le at La Liga, sorry, in Spain is, of course, Helder Costa. Costa's on loan with Valencia. Costa has had a little bit, obviously a lot more, actually, uh, less game time than Kiko Casilla has with Elche. He has played 23 minutes as Costa so far this season with Valencia. Each of those uh, appearances coming off the bench, each of those minutes coming off the bench. He has been an unused substitute uh, quite a lot of times. Uh, and like I said, just 23 minutes of football he's played so far this season. The latest of which was four minutes plus injury time against Barcelona at the weekend where Valencia went down 3-1 but I do think it was at the new Camp that game as well so you know he's playing at the new Camp uh, you know for Valencia it's not too bad is it really although they did lose and he only played four minutes plus injury time but I like Costa you know I hope it's not the same issue the same scenario as it is with Casilla I know it is uh, an option to buy Valencia do have. I do believe that we will have seen his last performance in a Legion United shirt, uh, regardless of what happens to us uh, next season. I don't think he will be with us. Um, if Valencia don't trigger that clause, I think he, he'll be moved on somewhere else. Uh, but it's good to see him playing a little bit of football, you know, as, as little as it is. But, you know, good luck to him in, at Valencia. Uh, yeah, and also then if we go on to the penultimate player I'm going to talk about now, is that forgotten man, he, he, he was at uh, this team last season as well, Lawrence de Bock of course, he's at uh, Zulte Wurgem in his native Belgium, he's back in Belgium again for the second season running, and he's playing a lot of football, is, 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 is Lawrence de Bock for Belgium, once cap Belgium player of course, he's got a cap for his country, He's not very good, didn't really work out for him at Leeds, did he? He went to Sunderland for a short time, didn't really work out. But he seems to have found his career back uh, in his home uh, country. Whistle words, um, yeah, he's played the majority of the games over the time he's been there last season and the beginning of this season as well, so fair play to him. And uh, in this particular match day on Saturday... 
Um, the result were Germany played the whole 90 minutes. They beat uh, Royal Antwerp 2-1, which was a fantastic result for them, to be fair. They're sort of lower mid-table in that division. Uh, Antwerp are towards top end of that. So, yeah, great result for him and, and the team there. He's playing, he's playing pretty much every game for them so far this season. And like I say, he played a lot of football for them last season in his season-long loan. Like I say, I don't think we'll see him again in a Leeds United shirt, but good luck to him. He seems to be doing well over there. And also, so the last player I want to speak about is, of course, Elia Capril, who's on loan in the Italian Serie C. I can't remember the name of the team, if I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, but he played um, the whole 90 minutes in a nil-nil draw um, this this weekend so he's playing pretty much every single game as well young goalkeeper of course Italian goalkeeper will he get his chance at Leeds let's wait and see but he was part of that uh, title winning team under 23 side last season so all the best to Capril um, or Caprila whatever way you say his name to be honest I'm not sure of that but uh, you know good for him to get some first team football but anyway that's it, that's a round up, a quick over, you know, overview of how the players are doing, how they did in the most recent match day for their loan team. Uh, all the best to the lads on loan and, you know, hopefully maybe one day we'll see you again in a Leeds United shirt. But that's all for me uh, uh, today. Remember to check out and, and look out for my preview of the Wolves game coming up towards the end of the week. But thanks very much for watching. Marching on together and I will see you on the next one.